Welcome back to the Edgewonk YouTube channel and today we're going to take a look at all the different charts and performance graphs in Edgewonk 3. So for that we go to the chart lab and here you can see an overview of all currently available charts that we have in Edgewonk 3. We can start with the equity graph and by the way for every graph you can use the filters here at the top for that you can unhide or hide them and you can choose between the basic filters and also the advanced filters which are your entry exit trade management comments and also your custom statistics if you have assigned them. So we're starting with the equity graph which gives you an overview of the gain loss that you have realized. You can choose between the account balance growth, you can go to the percentage growth and also we have our multiple graphs which is the risk multiple. You can choose the option display with and without fees if you are tracking fees then you will see a second line graph. Underneath the equity graph you have a few performance metrics and we are updating and improving them constantly. When you hover over the line you'll see some information about what trade number is it and also with and without fees. We can move on to the holding time where you will see the holding time per trade and the y-axis can be changed to either the gain loss, the percentage or the R multiple if you're using stops and take profit orders. And you can see when you hover over those dots and one dot stands for one trade you will see some basic information such as the trade number, the exit date, the holding time and the percentage gain in case you have choose the displayed percentage. You can choose different time settings so you can choose holding times in days, in hours or in minutes. So depending on your trading style you can choose between a few different visualization options. And then you can analyze the holding time and the performance accordingly. We have the performance by time so you can choose to display your performance in bar graphs depending on the weekday. You can go for the month of the year and also the hour of the day. When you hover over those different bar graphs you will see the accumulated profits and also again which hour of the day it is or in case of the month you can hover over it you see the month and the accumulated profit or loss as well. We go to performance by instrument and there we break down the performance by each instrument that you have used in your trading journal. You can change the sorting either by instrument name or by the value as well. And you can again change the display in terms of gain loss, percentage gain or a multiple as well. The trade management is one of the most effective graphs and most helpful graphs in Edgewonk and we will make a dedicated video to it but basically what it does is that it analyzes your trade management and it tells you if your current trade management is doing well or if you could do better by using a passive trade management approach. So for example if we compare our green and the brown graph you can see it means that our actual performance in green is currently below the potential performance which means that we are mismanaging our trades and if we just look at the red graph which is the management effect then you can see we are losing money by actively managing our trades. So we will go into this specifically in a separate video because there's a lot of things to learn from the trade management graph on how to improve your performance. But what you basically want to do is look for performance issues and whenever the potential performance in brown is above your green actual performance then there's something where you should look deeper into your trading history. And also you can use the basic filters or the advanced filters to then drill deeper into your trading performance. We have a win rate over time graph which is very helpful when you want to analyze the progression of your trading. And you can follow the win rate over time as the name suggests. So when you hover over this line graph you can see how your win rate over time changes and so you can very nicely follow your process and your progress. And then you can also of course let's assume we want to analyze different setups. We can do that by just choosing a different filter set and then we can see um, how different sets and components of our trading perform over time. We have an R distribution graph where we break down your performance in intervals of R multiple which stands for risk multiple. For this graph to work you need to enter stop loss and take profit prices for all of your trades and then you can see how many trades do fall into the different intervals of R multiple. You can see when you hover over the bars you can see the interval of 1 to 1.5 R. Six trades fall into that. You can analyze your trade comments. So for every trade that you enter in Edgewonk you can assign an entry, an exit and a trade management comment which basically describes your trading behavior which is a great way to customize Edgewonk based on your own needs and then later on we offer a variety of different ways how to analyze your trade comments. So here under trade comments you can switch between the trade entry, exit and trade management comments. You can change the display again between the gain in your account currency or the percentage gain. And then you can see we have different trade entry comments 
when we have a late entry, how does it perform when you have a perfect entry, an early entry, or when you made a mistake in general. So this helps you understand the impacts of your trading behavior on your account performance. We have an SQN, which stands for System Quality Number, and you can compare the different setups that you've entered in your trading journal, and you can see which setup performs best and which is underperforming. We have a drawdown graph, which visualizes how far away you are trading from your account peak. So you can see when the drawdown is at zero, it means that you are trading at a current account peak and your account has been growing into new heights. When you can see, for example, here we have an account drawdown of 10.07, it means that you are 10.07% away from the peak of your account. So you can very nicely visualize your account drawdown. You can look at the severity of losing streaks and losing trades as well. We have a calendar where we visualize profitable and losing trades in your year. You can switch between the different years. You can also click on the different dates and then it will automatically jump to the trades that have been entered on that day. We have an efficiency graph which helps you understand the level of discipline and how many mistakes you make. When your efficiency is at 100%, it means that you have not made any mistakes. When your efficiency is at 50%, for example, it means that on 50% of your trades you have made mistakes. So you can very nicely follow your progress, the level of discipline over time, and understand how well you are actually executing and following your trading plans. And those are all the different charts and performance graphs that we have currently added in Edge One. We are constantly adding new graphs, we are constantly improving existing graphs with other options, with other features. So make sure to check back in and make also sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're not missing future video announcements.